Ajilaga tin Chumukitima Police Complex te Amikal naga Chief Minister Nipiru aro Deputy Chief Minister Yantunga Paton Baluigena 35 four wheelers 100 bikes aro tinda mobile forensic investigation van flag of Korea Amikan tiki paise program de Deputy Chief Minister Yantunga Paton Bra kutakro moitai kuise ki itu gari khandu department de misa misira et kurano hoy huile bi citizens kan laga safety our security insurance group will be a commitment to the government. The police force is a significant asset. The police force mobility push a significant asset. The police force is 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 a significant asset. The police Pishi vital role ekta play gure. Itu ni mina citizens kan ge urge kuche ki in order to prevent crime and maintaining peace, citizens kan police lo de partnership to continue kuro bolle. Aro ta kan vigilance, cooperation, aro timely reporting ti bolle. Tai itu urge kuri ge naase. Abi ami kan ajila ka flagging off program to detail prasai lo bang. This is a short function that we are having to launch the recent acquisition of 35 four wheelers and 100 bikes for Nagaland police. Uh, as you can see on the screen, the, some of the bikes have currently been fitted with GPS. They can be seen on the screen and they will start moving by the time uh, we finish this welcome address and uh, speeches here. These will be also here. So the idea is that they will be helpful in effective tackling of the law and order situation. We hope that CP Rima or Kohima and the other SPs are only going to be using this for law and order duty and not for dark duty and all. So these will be deployed in teams, body pair teams in Kohima, Dimapur and other places for quick reaction to any exigencies, especially in Dimapur and Kohima because of the traffic. So in the traffic, four wheelers are difficult to navigate, so two wheelers will be easier. Uh, this uh, comes after a bit of effort and struggle, and uh, struggle by everybody in this room, including uh, some civil society organizations. This is a promise which is which was made and which has been fulfilled by the state government after the uh, recent uh, sort of movement on the extortion thing. The state government had promised us all the help, so one of this. One of them was this, the acquisition of four vehicles. This has been done. The second is the CCTV thing which we are proposing. I think that also the state government will be mechanic us to help. So if I can bring up a few points on the Nagaland police and this peak management. Uh, we face a lot of problems because the price of the vehicles has gone up. There are no gypsies available. Earlier a gypsy was available for about 8 lakhs something. Now the nearest vehicle that we get is around 11, 12 lakh, which is up to zero. So the budget sort of remains constant and the uh, like, fleet has been coming down. The number of vehicles that we can buy in the same budget has been coming down. So we would request if uh, additional uh, help can be provided in this. Uh, if for the civilians and for the uh, honorable ministers and MLAs, if you would see a lot of construction work is going around in this complex as well as throughout the state. The state government and the government of India have been mechanicals to help us with funds for construction of messes and offices and barracks for the Javans. So thank you very much, sir, for all the uh, funding that uh, you have provided to us. I hope uh, we will continue to receive the support. Uh, so these bikes which are there are essentially uh, to be used for crime control and extortion, uh, ready response to extortion. Uh, but we are planning a few more uh, initiatives in the coming days which will include uh, uh, effective uh, checking of the hotels, uh, better heat patrolling strategies, maybe also tenant verification in uh, various parts of the state so that we can keep the uh, unwanted anti-social elements out of the places where uh, they can take problems. So, Slowly we will come back uh, without any funding, so those, these projects will not require too much of funding. So uh, we will come back uh, with further proposals for uh, enhancement of better policing in Nagaland. Uh, 
So last but uh, not the least, two more things. One is, uh, uh, as you are all aware, that uh, the three new laws uh, have come into force in the country uh, from 1st of July. Firstly, that Nagaland Tourist has initiated a big program for uh, outreach and education of the public about the three new laws. Uh, however, in the new from the part of uh, or the successor of CRPC, the BNSS, Nagaland and tribal areas have been given some exceptions. So there is a sort of a gap, a vacuum which currently exists because we have not adapted the adopted the other sections of uh, uh, BNSS, the from the part of the successor of CRPC. We would request that to be done uh, soon because otherwise there is a legal gap which the criminals may want. We may be able to take advantage of. Uh, last case, sir, uh, we are assembled here at this venue. I think this is one of the oldest venues of all in Dimapur, uh, which everybody uses. Similarly, we have a conference hall in DHU, which was at that time, say 22 years back. Both of these were state of the art facilities, but now both of these facilities also need a sort of a revamp, a new, uh, slightly bigger ones and better facilities. So that is one request, the only request that I want to make sir is we can get some funds for making these facilities better because the other infrastructure is growing and these are in its fault. Uh, again, I would like to take this opportunity for welcome, welcoming Honorable uh, Chief Minister, Deputy Chief Minister, uh, Minister, MLAs and everyone to this occasion. Uh, and I hope uh, that everyone in this room and everyone in Nagaland will extend a uh, helping hand to the police to make lives of everyone in Nagaland secure. Thank you very much. The daily cares we threat of 25 polyru, 100 bytes, and two mobile forensic investigation vans, NFVS. We are not just getting vehicle to our fleet, we are fortifying our commitment to ensuring the safety and security of our citizens. These vehicles symbolize our dedication to responding swiftly and effectively to the needs of the people. They are an essential resource that we will enhance our operational capabilities, particularly in areas where mobility is crucial for timely and our law of crimes is continuously evolving, emerging and new methods of committing crimes have put immense pressure on our policing needs. Anti-social elements, especially in dense populated urban areas, are constantly seeking ways to exploit vulnerabilities this dynamic and ever-changing scenario demands that our police force remains well equipped and ready to tackle any challenge that comes its way. The addition of these new vehicles will significantly bolster our police force mobility. It will enable quicker response, times, greater reach, and more effective patrol. In urban areas like Timapo, where populations, densities, and urban spread present unique challenges, having a well equipped police force is not just a necessity but an urgency. I am proud to say that the Nagaland police have always risen to the occasion. They have demonstrated exceptional bravery, dedication, and resilience in the face of various challenges. Our officers have shown an unwavering devotion to their duties, often going beyond the call of duty to ensure the safety and security of our communities. 
the introduction of these new vehicles will further empower them to perform the duties with greater efficiency and effectiveness. Furthermore, community involvement remains a cornerstone of effective policing. The support and cooperation of the public are vital to creating a safe and secure environment. I urge the citizens of Netherlands to continue their partnership with the police. Your vigilance cooperation and timely reporting of suspicious activities play a crucial role in preventing crimes and maintaining peace. The government is committed to providing all necessary support to the police force. We understand that effective law enforcement requires not just vehicles and equipment, but also continuous training, equipment resources, and a supportive environment. We are dedicated to addressing these needs and ensuring that our police force remain one of the best in the country. The new vehicles will also enhance our capabilities to address specific issues such as traffic management, crowd control, and emergency response. With a growing population and increasing numbers of vehicles on the road, traffic management has become a significant concern. As we move forward, let us remain committed to our shared goal of safe and secure Netherlands. Let us work together, police and community, hand in hand, to create an environment where every citizen feels safe and protected. The journey ahead may be challenging, but with determination, collaboration, and unwavering commitment, we can overcome any obstacles. Finally, I extend my best wishes to the police, Nagaland police, as they embark on this new chapter with enhancing capabilities. I am also confident that these new vehicles will significantly contribute to the effectiveness of our policing efforts. I also want to express our sincere appreciation to our honorable Chief Minister C. Nibiru for his unwavering support, visionary leadership, and for providing the necessary funds to make this possible. This his dedication to improving the infrastructures and resources of our police force is truly commendable. Let us continue to strive towards excellence in law enforcement and work together to build a safer, more secure Nanak. Thank you, Kai. Well, I'm happy to be associated with this clip of our new fleet to Nagaland Police. These light vehicles and the bikes, which will open police transport for quick response and also will be more effective in the service of public as you are aware, lately, there are remarkable economic growth in the state as the country forged ahead to be the fifth and going to the fourth or third in a few years' time. Our state also Though we have so many 
that ingredient. I'm extremely happy that there is a positive economic growth, particularly in the private economic enterprising and a rapid growth in the urban areas in this Dimapur area, Dimapur district, Chapokadima, Kodima, and big township like Bukokchor, Bon Kinsan. So in this economic growth and business enterprises also bring in many multiple problems and we can see that there are increase in crimes. We are concerned for the security and the safety of all the citizens and in particular the business community. The Dimapur being the economic capital of the state. There are so much extortion, illegal taxations and crimes. It is more so because of our situation but bordering Assam. All kind of people, good people, bad people, criminals and so many bad elements. And if we can discipline and check crimes in the Mapur area, the whole state will be a safer place. And therefore, the police has to augment themselves with latest technologies and do policy against antisocial elements in urban places like the municipal towns. Over the years, we have seen that our police also have been actively doing their duties, performing, and we have so many good officers, even up to a small and lower rank and the Jawans. Their effectiveness is bringing violence to our state and put a check of crimes and criminals and also smuggling across the state. We are in the juncture, a location where the triangle of drug trafficking, arms smuggling and all illegal activities happening. As you are aware, the state government had declared war against drugs. And in this daily policing and checking very actively, you have been seizing a lot of drugs, arms, and ammunition. And also, even few cases of kidnaps, you have been able to act and then rescue those and arrest those criminals. Therefore, I commend all the police officers starting from DGP and the senior officers and who are implementing at the grassroots level also. Endangering your personal life but serving the community in doing a very fine jobs. And therefore, we have some of the finest 
officers and police personnel who are doing and equally our women Maclean Mahilas are also doing a very fine job parallel to men folks. My appreciation goes to both men and women in the police department. Besides the 35 boleros and 100 bikes, I believe we have also two mobile forensic <coughs> investigation vans. These vehicles are equipped with a cutting edge to the fleet to enhance the forensic investigations. So I hope this will give us a dividend. And all those things which we have to send out for even a small investigation can be done here and gain a lot of appreciation from the public and give by giving a good service. Some time ago I had also visited the police headquarters in Kohima and seen the setup how to track criminals and how to uh, you know trace where and when they are operating and their connections which is leading to a lot of arrest that is a commendable job and I hope all these latest gadgets including the CCTVs which were installed in many locations crimes committed and which have been proven by the CCTV footage I think this is also equally very good and we need to to implant more CCTVs wherever it is required government will always support our police personnel because administration and policy is the backbone of the government. There are other development departments. We need them, but the real task of administration and policy is the backbone of the government. Therefore, I am extremely happy here while talking to our police officers through the media we have to also educate the public that without the public support and cooperation lack of information and pinpointing the criminals for the crimes it is very difficult for the police to handle it alone. So where the public support and cooperation and reporting is done, it will be more effective. That's why it's a duty of the common people also to come in support and coordinate with the police and administration so that policing will be very, very effective. Well, here in Dimapur, particularly, the miniature India, all kind of people from far India and all classes of people lives in Dimapur. And here it gives breeding place for all kind of illegal activities anti-social elements. So our topmost concern is Dimapur and its surrounding area. And here our extortion, illegal accessions are very high and therefore we have to take a challenge and in crowded place 
like Timapur, criminals can commit a crime and try to escape. In that, police will do the chasing or talking through walkie-talkie to intercept when they are moving. But if public gives support, then we can definitely see people running away. They can check and then with that police job will become much easier. The police day and night they are working for the safety of the public. So it is the duty of public also for their own sake and for their society, the community, they should participate in this policy. You are aware, police also has to be transparent and while trying to be effective, you have to be very careful because public attitude is your good works, how much you do, you hardly get a decision. But any small mistake, then everybody will point and condemn. And all your good works are vanished and disappeared. And therefore, I will caution you while performing your duty to be very good, careful and discreet so that we can uh, be appreciated in total. In some countries, even like America, police has so much power. A police officers can even shoot to kill, but here it is not like that. And therefore, without public support, I think policemen and women risking their life to serve the people and they don't get the cooperation, it will be a big hindrance. Therefore, while the policemen should be transparent and do justice, it will be more effective with the public support. So, with these few words and my appreciation and congratulating the police department for this edition of 35 boleros and 100 bikes with two mobile forensic investigation vans. I hope you will achieve higher goals and then gain the confidence of the people. And so I wish you all the very best in your performances and state government will always be in supportive of the department for your effective services for the public safety. Thank you and God bless.